Omar Khadr, the 15-year-old boy from Canada, wasn't the only teenager in Guantanamo. Altogether, there were 21 underage prisoners there. One of them was Yasser Talal al-Zaharani, a young man from Medina who was just 16 when he was captured. He was a survivor of the Qala'i Janki massacre, a notorious incident in Afghanistan during which hundreds of prisoners were bombed, burned and drowned by US and Afghan forces. From Guantanamo, Yasser wrote to his family praising Allah and telling them that he was well and in good spirits so that they would not worry too much. As a dutiful son, he knew the reward of being too good to his parents. He would often talk to other detainees about his parents. He would tell them how he loved them very much and that he was proud of them and even though they were a thousand miles away. The men in the neighboring cells witnessed this boy spending his day reading the Quran until he memorized it all. He would invite them to visit him in Medina one day after their release, if Allah willed. They saw how strong his faith was despite his young age. Four and a half years later, however, he arrived in Guantanamo and was found hanged in his cell with his hands and feet tied and a cloth in his mouth. Two other inmates were also found in a similar state on the same night. When the body was returned to his family in Medina, it bore the marks of torture and part of his throat had been removed. The US commented on this. Not only did they claim Yasser had committed suicide, but they also said it was an act of asymmetric warfare. They are smart, they are creative, they are committed, they have no regard for life. Yasser was buried in the city of the Prophet وسلم, in Medina. Thousands attended his funeral. I called his father to pass on my condolences when this happened. To this day, the father's words shake me. May Allah reward you with the best for your words of kindness, my dear brother. But I am not in need or of condolences and neither am I unhappy. My son and his companions were the victims of abuse and they died for their beliefs. Therefore, inshallah, they are in paradise. His words moved me and reminded me again and again of the immense responsibility we have on our shoulders.